Good morning, everybody. I am so happy that all of you are here. It's uh, a privilege to have uh, some of the top uh, robotics researchers in the world attending this meeting. And we expect the current DARPA Robotics Challenge trials to show us the current state of the art. We're measuring where things are now. We know that robots are slow. We know that they are somewhat unsteady on their feet. We think that they're about the same stage of competence as a one-year-old child in terms of their locomotion competence and also their ability to grasp things. What we really want to do is establish a reference point so that a year from now, we can see how far we can get. DARPA's role is to spur innovation, and we do it by focused, short-term efforts. We pick things that are not impossible, but also not very uh, low risk. So we take very high risk gambles, and those risks have tremendous payoffs. So if we're successful, it means that these robots are actually going to be able to make a difference, in particular in disaster scenarios, making society more resilient. In the original DARPA challenge uh, in 2004, the goal was to build a vehicle that didn't require a driver. The big lesson that occurred there was that the very best car during that year only went seven and a half miles out of the 150 mile challenge. So none of the cars succeeded and they did not uh, award the prize. During that second challenge, in fact, the, uh, some of the cars did very well, and in fact, the Stanford car uh, returned from that challenge really for the first time and did the whole thing. So I think the lesson of the original challenges is that persistence pays. It's important if you know the technology is almost there and you can sort of see the light of the end of the tunnel and a little bit of persistence will pay off. What I'm hoping for in the trials is that some of the teams will score some points. I don't think that any team is gonna score all the points that there are. Maybe no teams will even score half the points that there are. But I think some teams will do moderately well. My expectation is that the robots are gonna be slow. What we're looking for right now is for the teams to just do as well as roughly that one-year-old child. If we can get there, then we think that we have good reason to believe that some of these teams with continued persistence for another year will actually be able to demonstrate robots that show the utility that these things might have in a real disaster scenario. DARPA is in the innovation business, not in the development business. So what we do is we wait for technology to be almost ready for something big to happen. And then we add a focused effort to catalyze the something. It doesn't mean that we take it all the way into a real system that's deployed or to the marketplace. We rely on the commercial sector to do that. But we provide the impetus, the, the extra push that technology needs in order to do that.